Okay, so I've got the uh, Mini E Revo here, uh, 1 16th scale, and I want to go over some suspension stuff. Uh, the problem is with this, uh, this little truck is that the suspension, everything is is okay out of uh, the box, and you know when you buy it brand new, the problem comes in when you start adding extra batteries and motors and everything else. So on this particular one, um, we've got a few upgrades on here, but most notably we've got the uh, big block conversion. Um, which is a significantly larger motor than comes factory. And then I'm also running it off of two, uh, either two, two S lip lipos or three S and that adds a lot of weight. And so when you do that, you, uh, you really kind of run out of suspension travel because when the truck is just sitting there, it, uh, already is using up most of the suspension travel. So let me, uh, show you here real quick. So right now, if I pull the truck up and I hold it and let it sit there, the suspension sits a little bit, but as soon as it, it compresses, it really doesn't come up that much higher. And so then you only end up with a tiny amount of suspension travel. And on top of that, it bottoms out really easy. I mean, this is only a couple inches and this truck can go like 50 or 60 miles an hour. So when you start hitting bumps and stuff, you just don't have the suspension travel. So I was reading online and some of the guys on the forum were talking about these springs that are available from Ace Hardware. Um, so I decided to pick some of those up and give those a shot. So let's see um, what difference it makes for the truck. Okay, so right off the bat here, um, we can tell that the new spring is taller and it does feel quite a bit stiffer here. So hopefully the truck is not going to be sagging as much. Yeah, it feels pretty stiff here. So hopefully that's not too stiff, but we'll find out. Okay, so now that the front is done, it does feel a lot better, especially after I added a little bit of preload on there. Uh, so let's get the back swap down. And then I've got uh, red threaded adjustable shock bodies on here. Take that time to kind of wipe off the dirt and sand and grit and everything that gets in there. And that way when you put the adjuster uh, screw back on there for the preload, it actually goes on there nice and smooth. Okay, so got the springs installed. Um, the front feels a lot better. The rear is definitely better. It doesn't sag nearly as much, um, but I do need to put new uh, thicker oil into the shocks, but at least we've got it set up now. So it still isn't perfect, but at least now when you press down, it comes back up almost to its full level again. And uh, so things are good. It does still bottom out in the back. I do need to put thicker oil, but now when it does, again, you get that suspension height back again. And so that way, before when I was driving in like gravel and, and that kind of thing, I'd be going pretty quickly. And because it hardly had any travel, it was smashing into stuff the whole time and whatever. But now that there's the stiffer springs in there, it sits up a little bit higher. So hopefully it'll float over that stuff a lot easier now. So the sag has definitely been reduced.